In DeFi, the possibilities of what can be built to replace legacy finance are endless, but there are a few use cases that every newcomer to DeFi will want to know about and explore early on because one, they're easy to understand, and two, battle-tested with billions in liquidity and hundreds of thousands of users, and three, although we didn't say three, they're easy to use. Now first off, you need to know about stable coins, and these are pretty much exactly what they sound like, a coin that is stable. And if you know your crypto, well, that's something to be valued. And in most cases, that stable coin is pegged to the US dollar. In the future, we'll see more stable coins pegged to other fiat, but for now, USD pegged stable coins are the standard. And you might be surprised to know that there is almost $15 billion in stable coin liquidity currently on Ethereum. That's a lot. Now, stable coins have been a huge breakthrough in DeFi because they allow users to transfer value with a reliable price point versus the highly volatile markets normally found in cryptocurrencies. Next up, we have trading. And in DeFi, trading happens on decentralized exchanges or DEXs. A DEX allows buyers and sellers to agree upon a price and exchange assets. Uniswap is one of the most popular DEXs with over $250 to $500 million in daily trading volume. And the best part of a DEX is traders don't have to trust anyone to hold their assets. So in DeFi, it's a peer-to-peer -peer exchange. You are always in control of your assets. Lastly, we have lending and borrowing. Now, when you go to the bank and borrow money, they ask for you to collateralize two things, your home and your reputation. But in DeFi, we don't have courts to keep borrowers incentivized to follow through with their contract. So what happens instead is we over collateralize. Borrowers deposit more than the value of what they aim to borrow, and lenders know if borrowers fail to maintain their loan, the DeFi app will auto sell their collateral to pay back the lenders. At the end of the day, borrowers pay low interest rates and lenders earn higher interest rates, so it's a win-win. So the takeaway here is, while DeFi essentially mimics the traditional banking world we all grew up with, this is really about a new way of transacting peer-to-peer -peer with no minimums, no signups, no permission required, and no middlemen. Sound radical? Well, it kind of is, and that is why DeFi is so hot right now. You've been watching DeFi 101, do be sure and check out the other videos in the series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.